So we're working with a Train XV right now. Um, we had a COM error. So what you're gonna notice, you can check your CDA up here and that's gonna get you into your alerts to check. And you'll be able to look here on your communication um, LED should be lit up amber, but as you see, we have nothing right now. Obviously, because I'll show you, I have the wires disconnected coming from the indoor coming out to our own our thermostat wire you want to have 12 dc volts if you guys can see that we have 10 so we're not getting the proper voltage for this system to talk back and forth with one another another thing you'll notice i don't know if you can see how thin that gauge is that's like 22 gauge wire on these systems they require 18 um so what we're going to end up doing i guess here is we'll double up the wires or we'll strip this back fold it to make it a better connection but I'll probably double up and then we'll go inside and double those wires up but yeah let's start there but that's going to be the reason why we don't have communication from indoor to outdoor we do have gas furnaces here in Florida so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ch double up my wires here check my voltage coming from the board here and see what we got all right so we're do and get our meter see that and we're just going to check again from our common to our data and um, we should be getting 12.6 dc volts and we should be getting the same outside so, you know, we're getting our 12.6 here and so we're losing voltage going out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take two wires here and double them in. So what I did is I added the, the black to data and the red to common kind of make it a little bit easier to kind of remember what the, the difference is between them. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing outside. So we'll go ahead and take our red and our black and hook them up and wire everything back up. Right now that we're doubled up, right? You guys see that? We got a 12.6. So we'll go ahead and tie that back into the drive. And then what you want to do next, we'll step it in. Make sure to dielectric grease on the uh, the low voltage going outside. Cap it off that way, and then put your wire nuts up. You want to turn off the, the system. Out. Your air handler. Um, that way, then you wait five minutes. What you want to do next? Turn off the breaker through the condenser first, then the furnace wait five minutes and do it in that order or reverse order so turn the condenser on then the air handler and then fire it up make sure our voltages are good check pressures and let it ride parameter let's look at that communication led here at the furnace board one two three and we'll double check outside but obviously it's speaking to the uh, thermostat the furnace and the condenser and so with that, three flashes on our communication. I'm going to go ahead and just fire this thing up. Yeah, man, system's operating that shit. If you guys can smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate y'all. Catch you on the next one.